Hello, you're here with Miss Libby Rose and welcome to the Sunday newsletter. So this week we've had Valentine's Day and we've had, well I've had quite a lot on. Um, I know that some of you may have as well and the Wednesday newsletter didn't quite go out on Wednesday, it went out on Thursday. But anyway, <laughs> these things happen. So, um, but I'm very happy to say that we are on Sunday, so we're on the right day with the right newsletter. Thank goodness for that. So welcome back and thanks for staying with me. Today we're going to do some making. Um, and I really, I've missed making. I mean, I've been doing bits and pieces, but with moving house and all sorts of administration things and contracts and all things that have been going on, I've really stepped back from making and I've got all the most wonderful ideas, still my notepad by my bed, so whenever I'm coming up with new ideas, I'm able to jot it all down. And um, I wonder if you do that too, actually. I'd love to hear. Um, if you want to leave me a comment, then uh, you can, if you do that same process too, um, getting up, waking up in the middle of the night and quickly jotting it down. Um, yeah, so that, that's one uh, thing that's going on and now I'd love to start making those all into practice. And with the Knitting and Stitching show coming up, I know we're going to be full blown into our making again. So today we've got a lovely little make. We've got, it's all about the buttonholes. Some events that I've got coming up are about buttonholes. Um, not so much of the knitting. Oh, no, I am in the children's dress. Yes. Um, uh, my bookings haven't been great on that, actually. So if you're looking to book something at the Knitting and Stitching Show, do look at the children's dress one that I'm doing. I love it. It's really sweet, little kind of pinafore style dress with two little buttons on the shoulders here. So we do buttonholes in that one, too. Um, but I've got another event coming up where I am really teaching um, a lot about sewing on buttons and buttonholes and things. So um, I'm going Going to show you that make today so just a little kind of purse you could have it as a sunglass case or a little phone case whichever size you'd like to make it and I'll show you how to size it up and down and then we've got these I love these buttons from um, Hobbycraft you get these giant um, mixed buttons now if you've got if your machine's got a one-step buttonhole and you think oh goodness it's stretching it a bit it hardly fits in that hole that does these giant buttons do still go through i mean that this is the biggest button i could find just to put in the one step buttonhole foot and the one that i'm using is slightly bigger than that but actually when the buttonhole comes up the button goes through it quite nicely but i'll go through all of that in the make uh, either if you're on the newsletter it's down below or if you're on YouTube, then it's in the Miss Libby Rose, Miss Libby Rose makes section. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, so you can have a look at that and sew along with me. You'll just need two fat quarters, um, a big button or any type of button that you'd like. But I use the big buttons. They're quite fun. Um, and your sewing machine, scissors, iron and all sorts of bits like that. So that's what we're making now the courses that are coming up um i'd really really love to see as many of you on board to the sewing for confidence um classes as as possible i know that you, i know that i've got a lot of interest in them and i'm really excited to run them because this is a different way of running a course for me it's not just about the sewing it is about the sewing of course but it's about building your confidence in your sewing as well. So we look at two types of sort of, of my teachings there because I do other work where I build up with confidence and I go to different women's groups and stuff like that. So the things that I've learned along the way, I'm going to sort of slide that in with our um, with the teachings as well. So um, yeah, I'd really love to see you on board for those and the information slowly um, coming through for those and i think they're launching in april so still time to get more suggestions through if you've got suggestions on what you'd like to see on your level of sewing for confidence course um if not they'll all be put out and there will be link well there is links on this newsletter down down below okay so uh i think that that is about all i've got to say really for this newsletter so we've got um we've got the Sewing for Confidence Club, but that's still still in April, so it's still a little while away to, for that to be launched. Um, and we've got the Knitting and Stitching Show. Did I mention it? 
I know it's just like a big show that's coming up so I know that I keep talking about it all the time and really well done to those that have won tickets um yes but Sunday I think Sunday's more fun and it's all about the making so let's get making and I'll see you in the other video for that and aside from that have a lovely Sunday and I will see you again on Wednesday bye for now